Now, now he who supplies the sower and bread for food will also, also supply and increase your sower of seed and will enlarge the harvest of your righteousness. And you, will be, you will be made rich in every way so that you can be generous on every occasion and through us your generosity will result in thanksgiving to God. Now he who supplies seed Supply seed to the soul. Now you sow it, isn't it? So what is guaranteed there? When you sow it, God will give you what? Bread. You pray, Father. When you pray for the Lord's Prayer, you said, give me daily bread. How can you get guarantee your bread? Sow it. When you sow it, God will guarantee your bread, isn't it? <coughs> Think about it. If, if you sow it, it may grow, but in the same time, even before it grows, God guarantee your bread, isn't it? So now you sow it. So you deserve the bread, isn't it? Let's remind your friend, you deserve bread. You deserve bread. We have overflow today, isn't it? <coughs> isn't it? Do you like it? See to the sower and bread for food will also supply and increase your store of seed. When you sow it, you will increase your soul. Why? Hey, college boys, look at me. This is not one plus one, okay? It's supernatural things. When you sow it, God will increase your seed, isn't it? Why? He wants to make you it enlarge the harvest of your righteousness. You want to increase, increase and increase, isn't it? And let's read it. You will be made rich in every way. When you sow it, God, not only that one, when you see it, you are in every way. What do you want? If you don't believe it, it's not yours. God wants to increase you in every way. Rich in every way. That includes your what? Your study. Study, okay? So that you can be generous on every occasion. You want to be generous? When you have a lot of money, okay, okay, I'll give you extra, isn't it? You can be generous to your girlfriend. <laughs> That means your girlfriend will be prettier than before. <laughs> Isn't it? When you become rich, you can have better looking girlfriend <laughs> or boyfriend. Isn't it? Are you happy? Sam, are you happy? In every occasion, the people will love you. And it's very generous. Isn't it? And through us, your generosity will result in thanksgiving. Through your generosity, people will thank to the God. It's good for God and good for you, isn't it? So, okay, repeat after me. Thank you. Thank you. Father, Father you, you gave us Seed. Seed. Isn't it? That's what you did. You sow it. Isn't it? Definitely it's here, right? Now it's his turn. Father, make increase. Okay? Increase your seed. Okay? Repeat after me. Father, Father increase, increase your, your seed. seed. That's our request, isn't it? Then you'll be more generous. 
then you can promise to God, Father, repeat after me, Father, Father I'll, I'll be more, be more generous. generous. And they will thank to you, right? This is the Bible one. That's I want to pray. Okay? Let's pray. Father, thank you so much you gave us the chance to sow seed. Father, let it grow. And let there be a great harvest. And through us, we we'll show your generosity to the people and let many people praise you. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, let's go back to slide. Okay, let's read. I will listen to the Bible. I will meditate on the Bible. I will speak what the Bible says. I am what the Bible says I am. I have what the Bible says I have. I can do what the Bible says I can do. I will never be the same as before. That's what you said, right? You said you'll never be the same. Like you're not the same person of 2022. You became a new person. Isn't it? So, you are listening to the Bible. That's a, when God. God will provide seed, isn't it? Not you. Many times we think if God gave us extra money, more than enough, then I sow it. God did not say that. I supply your food and seed. Isn't it? Then when you sow it, your bread is guaranteed. Don't worry about your bread. But if you sow more, you'll reap more, isn't it? I speak what the Bible says. That's what I did. Alright? I am what the Bible says I am. I have what the Bible says I have. God promised to you. I'll give you, increase your seed, isn't it? That you deserve. So when you believe it, it's yours. How can you believe it? Listening. Then your life will be changed. Okay, let's read Matthew 15, 1, 11. But before that, let's read this one first. Let us be nullified the word of God for the sake of your tradition. Let's read one more time. Thus you nullify the word of God for the sake of your tradition. So, to, we read the Bible, isn't it? God said, God, I'll give you seed. That means you can ask, you have a right to ask God, Father, give me a seed. He'll supply, isn't it? Then you can sow. I don't have offering. Please give it to me. Then God will provide it, isn't it? Yes? Yeah. Yes? yes? Test it. In India, they say, I don't have money to offer, what can I do? So I say, you need, you have something, else. you have a right, we have a right to ask God, give me a seed. And if somebody succeeded, they saw it. Don't, many people saw it. Right. They say, that's not your bread, it's seed. Saw it, you can increase it. But, let's read. Thus, you nullify the word of God for the sake of your tradition. What will cancel the effect of the word? What? Tradition. Yeah, tradition, isn't it? Who cancels it? Uh -huh. Yes. Who is your enemy? Who is your enemy? Me. Don't ask me. Me? Read it one more time. <laughs> Look at your Bible one more time. Three, two, one. Last you nullify the word of God for the sake of your tradition. So, Joseph, who is your enemy? Yeah? So you are enemy of Jesus, isn't it? <laughs> who cancel it? What? Based on what? 
For many people say, my enemy is devil. Look at this, don't look at me, think. Who can threat? You, based on what? Your tradition, what is your tradition? What kind of tradition do you have? Your old way of thinking. That's your old person, isn't it? So who is your enemy? Okay, don't hate somebody. Your mother is not your enemy, isn't it? Your father is not your enemy, isn't it? Yes? Change your way of thinking according to the Bible. That is repent. Reprogramming. Okay? Let's check. One more time. Read it one more time. Three, two, one. Thus you should not apply the word of God for the sake of your tradition. So who is stronger? Your tradition or the word of God? Word of God strong? Read it. Will you stand up and read it one more time? <laughs> <laughs> who can cancel it? You. Said, yeah, God's word is strong, but whoever strong, whoever still switch, you, right? So when you face the new things, something happened, check your heart. Am I, am I interpret this one based on God's word or interpret this one based on my old tradition? Simple, isn't it? Yes? Look at your friend. Tell your friend, sorry. <laughs> How many times you think somebody is your enemy, isn't it? Because we grow up that way. That's why to the Abraham, she said, left your father's house, your relatives, your hometown, and go to the new world. Let's read. Let's go back. Let's go a little bit slow. Matthew 15, 1 to 11. Let's read slowly. Give me a Bible. Let's read slowly. Then some Pharisees and teachers of the law came to Jesus from Jerusalem and asked, why do your disciples break the tradition of the elders? They don't wash their hands before they eat. Okay. What happened was, these disciples was not trained. Their disciples of Jesus was not that much educated people. Isn't it? And they are the best guy came from. Pharisees and teachers of the law came to Jesus from Jerusalem. He came from the headquarters. So they are, they have a PhD. And they're teaching something in the Bible school. They ask to Jesus. These guys do not wash their hands. When they eat, it's written in their law. You should walk, when they eat bread, you should wash your hands. So they break the law. Definitely it's a mistake of the disciples. Maybe they are in a hurry or they do not have uh, water or anything. Okay? So, and Jesus said, Jesus used them. Okay? When you make a mistake, somebody make a mistake, it leads to the new revelation. Let's read verse 3. Jesus replied, Why do you break the command of God for the sake of your tradition? So Jesus said, That's uh, the disciple's mistake. So when you see somebody, your friend, make a mistake, you say, Why don't you something? Isn't it? We always say, oh, Sister, how many times? 
Look at your sister. Tell your, ask your sister. Sister! How many times you ask that? You should do this. You should do this. Isn't it? Why you are not like me? Okay? So, when you find some mistake from your friend, check. Do not blame them. What kind of tradition do I have? Okay, let's read. For God said, honor your father and mother, and anyone who curses his father or mother must be put to death. But you say that if a man says to his father or mother, whatever help you might otherwise have received from me is a gift devoted to God. You know what they did? The Jewish people are so clever. They do not like their parents. So, so when they do not... Uh, they do not want to support their parents. Then they say, okay, all I have, why you don't uh, support your mother and father? And they say, oh, all I have is I gave it to God. So I have nothing left. Nothing wrong. But they did not say, I'll give someday to God. Okay, when he died. So based on their tradition, they destroy God's command. Isn't it? Yes? How many times you, you said that? Can you help me? And it's, oh, no, no, I gave it to the God. So, I cannot do it. That's tradition. Okay, next. Okay. Let's read six. He is not to honor his father with it, lest you nullify the word of God for the sake of your tradition. So they want to keep tradition, so they devote, they uh, cancel the God's command. How many times you did it? Think about it. There are many things. Let's read. You hypocrites, Isaiah was right when he prophesied about you. And Jesus said, you are hypocrites. Let's read. These people honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. They worship me in vain, their teachings are but rules taught by men. Ten, let's read. <coughs> Jesus called the crowd to him and said, listen and understand. What goes into a man's mouth does not make him unclean. What comes out of his mouth, that is what makes him unclean. What does it mean? Whatever you eat, it will not defile you, isn't it? But what you come from your mouth will defile you. How many times you insult other people? <coughs> How many times you lie? And you create, when you eat, you very do your best to eat the best food, isn't it? Clean food. Something wrong, isn't it? Look at your <coughs> and tell you something wrong. <laughs> Who is your enemy? Who is your enemy? But uh, until today you said somebody is my enemy, isn't it? Satan is your enemy. You, who is your enemy? I did not say Satan is not your enemy, but if you follow Satan, you will become your enemy. So in you, you have two persons, isn't it, fighting. Inside you, there are two persons. One is your inner person, born again person, based on Holy Spirit. And the other one is still your old person. And every time it fights, isn't it? Yes? Okay, who am I? Who am I? Okay, let's read. For us, I see things in his heart, so is he. Who is you? Yeah, when you think, you're, you're, you're thinking. You're thinking is you. So if you think based on your tradition, what will happen? 
Jesus will say you're a hypocrite, isn't it? How many times you feel you are a hypocrite? Don't look at me. It's written in the Bible. <laughs> Who is you? Let's think, finally. Think, think, let's think. Okay, we have, let's uh, repeat one more time what we have. Let's read. May our whole spirit, soul, and body be blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. How? Who will do that? You should keep it, right? Not Jesus, isn't it? Who's responsible? You. You. Who can change your heart? Only you. And how many times you pray? Father, I have changed my heart. <laughs> it's your job to do. If Holy Spirit do it for you, you don't need to come to church, isn't it? And then at home, you say, please change. All your fault. All your fault. I ask you, So, we have, I'm very proud of this, I made this one. We have spirit, soul, body, and living in this world. Okay? It's not born again. We have spirit, soul, and body. And what you think here, you can think with your soul. Heart and mind is here. Okay? Your, the, when your soul meets spirit, they call it heart. And when you change your mind, your body will fall away. So what you should change? Here. Okay, let's read. If anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come. The old has gone, the new is here. Really? How many percent changed? <laughs> Which part is changed? Look at yourself. Some part is exactly the same like yesterday, isn't it? Okay, let's read. Whoever is united with the Lord is one with him in spirit. What unite with Jesus is one with him in spirit, not in body. Isn't it? Your spirit. When your Holy Spirit comes, you are united with Jesus. You are united with Jesus. Holy Spirit come, you become one with Jesus. But your soul is not changed, your body is not changed. So what you should do? When you accept Jesus, when you accept Jesus, your spirit is changed, but your way of thinking did not change at all. So even you don't know your, your father is God or not. So what you should do? Okay, let's read. The mind governed by the flesh is death, but the mind governed by the spirit is life and peace. So, you can see something, one eye, but it can interpret in two different ways. Isn't it? If your mind governed by the flesh is death, governed by spirit is life and peace. If you don't have life and peace, if you, want, if you want to die, you are controlled by your flesh. flesh. Let's read. For it is by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not from yourself. It is the gift of God, not by works, so that no one can boast. Faith is not from, but why are you trying to believe it? How many times are you trying to believe? But it came from God, isn't it? 
from God. When you r where the faith came from? Hearing. So you hear it. God will give you seed. When you sow it, what will happen? You will become rich in every way. So offering is very important. So somebody next week, somebody will pray, Father, give me a seed and bring it. Or somebody never pray, Father, give me a seed. Never do that. Or when God gives you seed, you swallow it. Go to the pizza or some <laughs> music. Happy. I have extra money. Ah, I see. That's a seed, okay? Seed, S-E-E-D. Don't swallow it. So, for it is by grace you have been saved. It's grace. Grace means we do not deserve it. But, God is good and gracious. He gave it. That's seed. Yeah. That is seed. Isn't it? Without vision, he gave it to you. y o u n a why your grandma gave you money? Pretend. You don't know, right? That's grace. <laughs> <laughs> Because uh, y o u n a s grandma really loves y o u n a so give it, right? Is there any reason? No. Oh, that's grace. God is love, so He loves us. I don't know why He loves me, but anyway, He loves you, isn't it? So tell your friend, God loves you. God loves you. Without condition. Without condition. But how many times we put earth by our tradition? We take there. If God, you do this, God loves you more, and this and this and this and that's all your tradition. It is gift of God, not by works, so that no one can boast. What does it mean? If you pray like that and pray more, offering, God will love, God will love you more? Uh-oh, it's a little bit dangerous here, isn't it? Think about it. When we understand God more, we can be more generous. Isn't it? That's great. Generous, another way of speaking is generous. God shows us His grace so we can be rich in every way, so we can show our grace, generosity to other people. Isn't it? So the grand, what is grandma doing usually? Spoiling the great uh, grandchildren, isn't it? <laughs> That's grace. That's love. There's no condition, isn't it? Okay, let's read. For indeed the gospel was preached to us as well as to them, but the word which they heard did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in those who heard it. So what you, what you should you do? Believe it. Don't believe your tradition. Believe what Jesus said. So if, if you do not have more seed next week, why? Why? Yeah, why you don't believe? Because you are You think about your tradition. Hey, I pray, but God will never answer. That's your tradition, isn't it? You pray, but God will never heal you. He'll never listen to you. That's your tradition. Tradition is your enemy. So check. Change your heart. How can you change it? Listen. Meditate on it and confess it. Here, what do you think? This is problem here. You don't have a problem anything here. It's born again. Here, you have to change. 
take it out your tradition and program it based on God's promise. God said, I'll give you seed and I'll give you bread. But you think, I have to. What do you, what do you say? Change here, change here. This is our fighting until we die. Don't worry about this part. Then, how can you make your God work here? Your problem is here, isn't it? We have problem here in our body life, in this world, isn't it? You need something. How can you make our God walking through here? Okay, look at this. You should straight your spirit and your way of think and your body. How can you make it straight? When you confess the truth in love, confess the truth in love, straight it will make it work. When you confess loudly, you cannot think other things, isn't it? It's very difficult. So even on one second, you can make, you can control all your way of think according to the Bible. Isn't it? That's when you sing a song, when you read the Bible, when you confess it. Okay, let's repeat one more time. Speaking the truth in love will grow up to the head, the Christ, isn't it? Yes? Yes? So tell your friend, God will give me a seed. God will provide seed. So two, two, three weeks, I think last time, we pray, what we pray? We pray, increase in number. And look at your friend who came here first. We increased, isn't it? No, we have new members here. Who is that? Sam, come back, isn't it? And that, that. We have a visitor from Mexico. And one, the, the Kamjitsam's friend came. Isn't it? When you pray, you forgot, you don't believe. Okay, repeat after me. Father, Father increase, increase in number, in number here, here, and everything we're doing. That means in the in business, like your mom, your mom, she'll have more customer, more generous. Isn't it? Then we'll have extra, look at, okay, look at the empty seat. Our God's name is Overflow, so let it overflow. Okay? Let uh, the, 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 your pastor have a headache. We don't have enough space, okay? Look at that, easy. When you, when you bring just one, your friend, okay, let's come. Okay, easy overflow, easy, right? Yes? Very easy. So when next time, let's go. Let's come together. Your mom, your father, come, okay? Your friend. We pray one more time, increase your number, isn't it? Does it mean in every way? That means increase your salary. Why? God wants you to make more generous. When you have generous, they follow you, isn't it? Let's go. I'll buy you dinner. Not McDonald's. So. Then you can come here, isn't it? This is, uh, we study this one very much, but look at here. Star Wars is right here, isn't it? Isn't it? When we, we die, that means our spirit separate from our body. This part will be separated. And body plus not born again mind will go to the heaven. And your born again spirit plus your born again soul, way of thing will go to heaven. 
at that time we are glorified and holified 100 percent isn't it before that we're struggling here so what you should do change your way of think according to the bible this is our job to do forget your tradition if it's not biblical change it change it erase it delete it and New, what's that? You should speak something. Inscribe the God's word in your heart. That is our job. So today we learn God will give you seed, isn't it? Because I, I did not understand hundred percent. But in India they say, sow something. You'll be rich, but we don't have money, so I should find out. So I find out that. Father, give us seed. Even God will give you seed. God do not want your money. God will give you seed. What God asks you is sow it. Happy? Can you ask once in a week or once in a month or every day? For every moment. But why not? God did not limit the time, isn't it? Ask this week. This is a new year, first day of Chinese calendar, isn't it? So ask today. Give me a seed. What kind of seed? There are many seeds. Not only offering, isn't it? Seed. You don't like it? So how many times you worry about your money? Food. As far as you saw it, don't worry. Look at your friend. Insult your friend. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> when you offer it, when you offer it, <laughs> when you offer your seed, God guarantee your food. Your food, my food, okay, Winston. <laughs> that is God's word, isn't it? If you believe it, it's yours. If you don't believe it, you cannot enjoy it. What is what is problem here? Your sanctification. We don't have problem here. Because we have Holy Spirit. We are hundred percent born again spirit. And our body. It's not born again at all. Zero. Okay? When we die, it will be glorified. And this body is... God will give you a new body, isn't it? God will not repair this. And if, let's say, your, your soul is a bit, a little bit, you are small in heaven. So this is sanctification. All right? You can be a zero, 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 one carat diamond or big diamond. I, I saw that the diamond in uh, London is about this size. About this size. Which one you like? In heaven somebody is big and you can... It's up to you. What you should do? Erase, delete your tradition, and inscribe God's word. Speak God's word. How can you do that? Grace. What is grace? Grace means Jesus take your sin and my sin and crucified on the cross. It's death. death. This is two side, two phase of baptism. First we should die, erase our sin, and face its blessing. 
when he resurrected, God gave us all his blessings. So we should believe God delete, cancel all our sin. Okay? When you sow it, you can reap it, isn't it? When you sow it means you lost something, isn't it? Our tradition said, save it, save it. Why you give it to other people? It's stupid. But God said, oh, if you sow it, I'll guarantee you bread. So you have two different opinions. Which one will you find? Will you follow? This is baptism, okay? This is death. Jesus, take all your sin and my sin and crucify it on the cross. So, our sin is, you can kill your sin. You can erase, delete when you confess it. After that, you should bless. So, blessing without repent is not working. So bless and, and if you repent, 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 what will happen? Yeah, you became a... You want to die together with your sin, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly you don't want to live and uh, you are under... So every time you think you are under the persecution, God is your enemy, isn't it? So, always believe after death, there is resurrection, blood, okay. blood God gave you his life. When we break agreement, covenant, who was that first to break agreement? Yeah. Adam. Okay, Adam did it. He realized pro problem and afraid it and run away and hide and he think he's cursed and he believe he's rejected. No more, right? So, when you, okay, college boys, Look at this. What do you what do you think? If you do, uh, if you do not submit your report on time, you break agreement, covenant, and you realize your problem, then you start off afraid, isn't it? <laughs> then you want you do not want go to the classroom or hide. You say that my dog eat my paper, isn't it? <laughs> Cursed and rejected. You'll be cursed and you'll kick out of the school. <laughs> so don't do it. You should start some place. What you should do? Who can solve your problem? Your professor, go to him and confess. I made a mistake. What should I do? And he said, okay, do this to extra work, something, something, something. That's better than run away, hide. What do you say? You drop it, isn't it? During the class, I drop it. Don't do it. How many times drop from the church? When do not come to church, what do they say? They break some agreement, right? They commit a sin. Church is the place when you come realize your problem. They solve this problem. Do not run away. If you're going, go, uh, <laughs> big problem, isn't it? Do not reject yourself. Who is your enemy? You, right? Who decide to run away from church? Who is your enemy? So look at your friend. Tell your friend, don't do it. Don't, do it. don't sleep. Don't sleep. <laughs> Based on your tradition, you don't want to listen, so you're sleeping now. <laughs> what? Bible never lie. Okay, let's read. The one who does what is sinful is not the devil, because the devil has to sin from the beginning. The reason the Son of God appeared was to destroy the devil's work. So when
when you deserted, it, feel cursed. We have Jesus. Okay? How, why he come? He want to destroy the devil's work. Amen. Tell your friend, tell your friend, don't worry. Don't worry. We have Jesus. We have Jesus. That you confess, because of Jesus you became something, 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 right? Okay, let's read. From return means repent, okay? You should return. Reject it, to accept it, curse to bless, afraid to peace. That's what Jesus is doing. Exchange, a divine exchange. Let's read. We all like sheep have gone astray. Each of us has turned to our own way. And the Lord has laid on him the iniquities of us all. Turn to our own way. What does it mean? Our tradition will run away. And we have Jesus. Then what happened? Let's read. That means you are accepted now, isn't it? Yes, because of Jesus. Tell your friend, because of Jesus, because of Jesus. you are accepted. You are accepted. Okay, I'll stop here today because you. After that, it's all saying because of Jesus, you became a uh, now what? Change here, okay? Because of Jesus, you are accepted, not rejected. So if anybody do not want to come to church, tell him why. Why he don't want to come? Because he think he make a mistake, and that's, every day you make a mistake, isn't it? Sam, how many times you make a mistake? So that's okay. How can I remember it, okay? So how can you hear it? Come to church. God will never blame you, isn't it? God will forgive you. Destroy your what? Your way of thinking based on the Bible. Let's read one more time. For you are like sheep going astray, but now you have returned to the shepherd and the overseer of your soul. So you are returned, isn't it? That means God will bless you. You find blessing. Who find bless God will bless you or you find the blessing. Who can find blessing? You, you, isn't it? Open your eyes and find out God's blessing. We have only one eye. So when we have something problem, that oh, this is chance. I can change my prediction. Why you have a problem? Because you have the open door based on your prediction. So change it. Interpret it. That is what we we have that uh, we have books, right? Meditate. When you see something, interpret it from the point of Christ, not from the end. Prediction is no good for you. Do not cancel. Do not nullify. Who is your enemy? What is your enemy? Tradition. What is your enemy? Tradition. The tradition. Who is your enemy? Me. Mm. Do not suicide, okay? Change your way of thinking.